Good afternoon, LC people. Right, it's been raining today. I was going to get on the LC, but it's been very unpredictable here in Loughborough today. <laughs> it rains and it stops and it comes. And I came round to see Phil yesterday. Uh, he got all his body work back now from Mike Searson. Extreme machine, this guy is. And his, his work's just amazing. I've used him before. Several of my friends use him now. It's just amazing. But anyway, <laughs> we had silly bits. We had a front indicator not working. And for whatever reason, we didn't get the neutral light come on on it. And this was yesterday afternoon. I said to Phil, it didn't matter what we did, the indicator, sometimes it worked. You wiggle the wires, it stopped. So we actually took the loom sort of and pulled it all out and actually soldered in a fresh green wire that connects the indicator and uh, obviously up to the clock. Resolved that. We had to take the mag off of it, uh, you know, the flywheel of the mag, took the stator off of it and spliced in a new wire um, for the neutral wire, the blue wire. There was a break in it somewhere and um, so we spent a bit of time phil has gone and got some fasteners for it. Just waiting on a few bits now. Um, I think he's got one of these rubbers missing. So he's got that to order. Um, what else was it? There's, uh, most of you might know, there's a rubber that goes in there and it's got a brass insert and it's uh, threaded. So when you put this side panel on, obviously then the bolt screws in. It's, it doesn't have the same... Uh, a knobbly bit, plastic bit, like the other side does, so it's a different fitting. So, if you've got one of them on order, I think something else. He wants to fettle the centre stand because he's not 100% happy with that. Um, so, it's just a few little bits really left to do on this bike, but it just looks fantastic. I'm really, really proud of the work he's done on this. Um, it came for the right money. And he's put some more effort into it. The guy that bought it didn't finish it off after the COVID finished and he went back to work. So Phil's got it to where it is. Very impressed about it. We, me and Roger's helped him a little bit, but, you know, he's uh, upgraded the brake calipers. So there are twin four pots on it. But no, it's... Uh, for a very special bike. I think he's looking forward to getting the MOT. It won't be that long now, probably another week, the other bits will come and uh, that'll be it. He'll put his screen on. But we're really done for the day, if I'm honest. It was the electrical bits that was a uh, semi-problematic, but they're now they're resolved and that's it. Um, yeah. You'll be seeing it about, I have no doubt. See it, Phil, see how he likes it. But now he's had all the switch gear powder coated and decals and all the rest of it. If anybody's out there has got any of these infills for both sides, let us know because Phil's looking for them. We don't want his pants pulling down over the price. He wants a pair of them. And it's a shame we didn't get them before we could put all the bodywork on, but it's not the end of the world. But if anybody's got infills, let me know. Or let Phil know. He's on the forums, but yeah, we're missing them both sides. They didn't come with a bike, unfortunately. Um, looked on the band, some of them are ridiculous money. Not paying silly money for them. Somebody out there's got some. Let us know. Uh, other than that, um, we'll keep you posted. But um, for now, waiting for bits. And hopefully, if the weather's kind, I'll be on the LC at some point this week. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly.